Hello, and a very good evening to you, YouTube. That was my dog, in like a flash, out like a flash. Boy dog, um, now that I'm talking, he'll start working on the ball. Um, a good evening to you, I just thought I'd do a little video. I remember when I started out this series of um, videos to do with building a PC or um, put assembling a PC would be a better way to describe it because I didn't really build anything. Um, one screwdriver, that was it. Uh, I um, mentioned to you that I, what the end use of the machine mainly would be to use in music um, as the DAW and um, the platform that I use is Pro Tools. Um, so I wanted to do a little quick video to show you where I'm up to with that. Um, I've got um, a little bit of uh, to, to precede that though, which was, I'm going to put the link down below here, but it's how I got Windows 10 onto the machine and I'm running Windows 10 now. Um, it cost me $14.95, okay, for Windows. Now in the shop, it's $185 Australian for Windows 10. I paid $14.95 and I'll tell you how. Um, first thing you need is the thumb drive. Um, over 8 gigabytes, um, 16 gig is a good idea, um, and this one's 32. Um, you go to the Microsoft site, and if you go to Microsoft, it'll take you to the site where you pay for it, okay? You don't want to do that. The link that I'll put in the description below here is the site where you go to download the Windows installations files. Windows installation files for Windows 10 and uh, what that will ask you for is the thumb drive and you stick that in your machine it'll copy all of the files needed for Windows installation onto that thumb drive okay then what you do is you go onto eBay and you search for Windows 10 key okay Windows 10 key or Windows 10 Authentists, or te auth I get this word wrong, Authenticity, Authentication Key, one of those words, Auth Key, A-U-T-H, just go Auth Key, Windows 10 Auth Key, um, and basically that'll come up, and you'll see these people selling these downloads of um, the proper um, valid Windows key, all right. And what you do is you pay for it, and they email it to you straight away. I think I had mine within three minutes, so it's pretty quick. Um, so both those procedures have to happen on a second computer, um, downloading Windows and um, downloading your. Um, messages in eBay so you can see that key. Write it down um, in big letters <laughs> and um, and that's cool. So you just plug this drive in to your new computer, boot it up. Now I had absolutely no problems with keyboards, mice, devices, nothing. No problem at all. It just went through the whole installation. The only interaction I had was it asks you to name your PC, you put in a name, and then you, it asks you for your authentication. That's wrong. Authentific. Authentfuck. Oh, the fucking thing. Authentification. Fuck. I don't know how it works. Authenticity key. Maybe. Authenticity? You know what I'm talking about. The thing you got off eBay. I write that. Type in those numbers and there's your Windows, $14.95. And for all my time and fringing around, you might as well call it $15. Do 
to get yourself set up with Windows. What did I say? $165 or something? Ridiculous. How do people not do this all the time? I guess they do. They just don't tell everybody. Um, so yeah, got Windows up. My old Pro Tools 10 version, which I got in 2009, um, bang, straight on, working. Um, I pulled up an old file that I'd recorded and uh, played it back. I did a bit of editing on it. I put in a bunch of bunch of um, plugins and shit like that, like heaps of them. Um, like this here. All the main tracks have got like, well the vocals have got a tuner and a reverb that's going to get a um, compressor as well. Um, there's a mini grand piano. Works. Um, perfectly, so MIDI works. Got compressors on things like guitars, EQ and compressors on some. Um, Channel Strip has got, it's like a preamp um, that's got a compressor limiters, um, different um, EQ possibilities, all that sort of So yeah, all of that, right through to the drums. Um, I mean, the kick drum's got four different devices on it, four different plugins. All the other drums have got at least two. Um, I don't know what that's doing there. I, I'll come back to that. Oh no, that's my vocal that's got four different things on it. But then my drums have got compressors and EQ and all shit, so it's all the go. And um, the only drama I had was um, Windows decided to do a massive big update, as it does when you first install a machine. Uh, I don't know how much of that to take. Um, whether to just forget it all because all of this worked perfectly before the update before I plugged my broadband cable in and um, as soon as it updated Pro Tools stopped working so I had to go back and remove Pro Tools put it back on again and it works again now so but that's not just Pro Tools it's the drivers um, I'm using a Avid 11 rack for my guitar and bass. This is the uh, Stingray bass here that we're using. So we've got bass and piano and drums I record in another studio. I don't do that here. Um, and I've also got a Mbox Pro 3, uh, sorry, Mbox 3 there that um, I use as an alternative interface. Um, for some things, like it's got two inputs, so if I'm recording two things at once, I do that. So it's it's not much of a system, like it's not a pro system by any means, but um, it works, and I've done tracks on it. So um, I just uh, start this baby off and get rid of the dog, and um, go for a wander. Don't forget to count. One, two, three, go. Nothing in the headlight, and nothing in the mirror. The sunset fading white. Nothing but a throttle to get me out of here. Nothing up ahead but night. So I drive.
Well, that's it from me, Kero. Um, just, just bringing you up to date on where, where I'm at with it. Um, just going forwards, really, straight ahead, and uh, not stopping, not looking back. That's what it's all about. I'll see you on the next video. This is Kero from Plains Chapel, Camp Zero. My name is Kero and I am Captain Zero. Eastern Downs, Queensland, Australia. 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 Good to talk to you. I'll see you next time. Bye.